Hello friends, this is Perfect Combo, aka PC, coming to you with another video. And today we will be covering the Razor Corp Weaver and how to set it up with the Final Fantasy XIV. I'm going to show some examples on how to keybind on this gamepad. And hopefully from watching this video you can get an idea of what you would like on your gaming keypad. Alright, the first thing you need to do is install the Razor Synapse 2 software. Don't install the Razer Synapse 3 as it is not compatible with the Razer Orb Weaver. I don't know why they have it like this, but like I said, you will have to install the Razer Synapse 2 software. So let's get started. Okay, so since you have your software open, right? Um, the first thing you're going to notice is that your keybinds are going to suck. Right now, I have mines configured, but it's going to try to mimic your keyboard and you don't really want that. So what you want to do is... You know, configure like say one, two, three, four, five is going to be your bottom row, right? You have your alt modifiers, you have QWERTY, which is, you know, the buttons you will usually push if you was playing on keyboard, but you'll use that to keybind here, and you have a shift modifier. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is set up your options for movement. Um, as you can see, you can see the movement as 1 being uh, up, which is W, 2 is D, uh, 3 is S, and 4 is A. And you're going to have your typical 4 uh, WASD keys configured here. It's going to take some time because it's very flimsy. The thumbstick isn't that great. It's just, it's a button. It's not necessarily a D-pad or a technically a joystick at all. So it's going to be very uncomfortable at first and you know it takes time and practice and you'll eventually get used to it too but in my opinion it isn't super great but this is how i got mines configured out hopefully you can see as an example here all right so next to the orb weaver you're going to see two buttons as an example on screen um you would say that, okay, maybe I want to put my jump bar on the bottom and could key bind it that way. Um, for Final Fantasy, it's very flimsy. And while you're moving, if you're trying to hit it, it's very hard. And you might end up just jumping instead of like forward jumping. And maybe you want to jump over something, but it's a hard time to hit both at the same time. So I would recommend configuring this to like, inventory like a, a sh little shortcut I would not recommend it for jumping um that's pretty much my tip here just don't do it trust me <laughs> you'll find out so okay so please remember too that you have your your HUD settings too that you can configure and I know it's a little bit messy but you know you have your options here you go to HUD layout you can select hot bar one and you can choose to select either a four by three or three by four. Um, this will help you, in my opinion, memorize your key binding layouts. Um, so the more you configure with your layout, the more you'll feel comfortable pushing without looking at it. And that's pretty much the key. So you kind of want to have it like this, um, and you just want to configure it to how you like it. Alright, so these are more examples of, let's say you wanted to use the Razor Orb Weaver as a WASD. This is kind of what you want to have as a setup. And you have your modifiers and your alt to the right side. Um... Keep in mind though, like I said, organization, if you have the grid match out to your Razor Orb Weaver, it'll make it much easier to understand it, two, memorize it, and three, you'll get comfortable with how it matches your layout. So keep in mind though, organization is key. Alright guys. This video is almost over, but the last thing I cannot stress enough is practice. This is, this always always going to be like a $120 device. And like I said, 
you want to get the scourge at first. So the first thing I want you to do is if you get your Urza Orb Weaver is to practice. Practice, um, since I'm playing Summoner, I have to practice swift casting and moving, you know, slide casting basically. And, you know, you have to practice your rotation, you know. Make sure, you know, you keep practicing. You got to get the muscle memory down. Um, you're going to make some mistakes. You're going to hit the wrong set of keys. You know, you can always try to modify your razor orb. We would add some, like, weird stickers on it or Velcro curl strips. Um, just to help understand your finger placements. Because I know keyboard users, they have a certain button to indicate where they do for typing. I mean, it's the same thing, you know. But you just want to practice until you get it down. Alright, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're considering buying this product, uh, I say go for it. It may not be for everyone, and that's perfectly fine. You may just want to be a, a full-time keyboard user. Or a full-time, you know, PlayStation controller user or an Xbox controller user. But this is like another option. Just in case, you know, you don't fill any of those devices you've been using. You want to use something different. Uh, this is like a third option. Um, like I said, I'm still new to making videos. So my, my voice will be out of whack from time to time. And I will try to get better by watching more YouTube videos. To <laughs> So like I said, I'll see you guys next time and, um, you know, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, um, you can hit me up on Twitter, um, you know, and I'll be happy to answer any questions if you have any. So thank you and see you guys next time.